Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, proud parents, and family members, it gives me a great pleasure to welcome you all to the British University of Bahrain graduation ceremony 2021. <laughs> University graduations are a moment you will never forget. It's a, a beautiful memory. And it's been a very challenging time, and you've made it. So congratulations. It brings a lot of cherished memories that you will always hold. Today we are here to celebrate your success, your hard work, and before that, we would like to commence our ceremony with a recitation of verses from the Holy Quran by Sheikh Khalid Buhindi. الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اقرأ بسم ربك الذي خلق خلق الإنسان من علق اقرأ وربك الأكرم الذي علم بالقلم علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم كلا إن الإنسان ليطغى أرآه استغنى إن إلى رب بك الرجعا أرأيت الذي ينهى عبدا إذا صلى أرأيت إن كان على الهدى أو أمر بالتقوى أرأيت إن كذب وتولى ألم يعلم بأن الله يرى كلا كلا لئن لم ينته لنسفعا بالناصية ناصية كاذبة خاطئة فليدع نادية سندع الزبانية كلا كلا لا تطعه واسجد وقترب صدق الله العظيم The British, the British University of Bahrain opened its doors in 2018 in partnership with the University of Salford, Manchester. 
The University of Salford is a key strategic partner and it has been involved in the development of the university since the beginning. And we are proud to have formed a strong partnership. On this occasion, the University of Salford's Vice uh, Councillor, Professor Helen Marshall, would like to congratulate the class of 2021 through this video. To all of our 2021 graduates, congratulations. I'm delighted to be able to congratulate you on all your amazing achievements and only wish that we could be with you to celebrate. As our first cohort of 23 graduating students from the British University of Bahrain, who have also been working through a pandemic, your achievements are really special. You have been pioneers for the British University of Bahrain and for the University of Salford and the recipients of a truly British educational experience in your home country. I speak for all of your lecturers, friends and mentors when I say that we are all so proud of you. You are in the privileged position of being alumni of two universities at the same time. You are now part of Salford's global university community of 175,000 alumni and can connect with other alumni in the region by going onto the university alumni page where you can explore the benefits and stay in touch with us. The whole world is working to build a better future right now and you are a vital part of that. With the skills you have, you'll be building a brighter future for all of us. Do stay in touch and let us know what you do next. Hello to all, all the people in Bahrain. I hope it's really sunny where you are and we're here in a very wet and windy Manchester. But I want to start off by congratulating all of you on achieving what you've achieved. From navigating online learning to finding new ways to develop relationships with teachers and classmates, you have overcome so much this year. With a determination and a willingness to adapt, we're so proud of everything you've accomplished, and you should be too. The feedback you've provided throughout your time at the British University of Bahrain has been exceptional. And this is testament to the outstanding dedication, hard work and support you've received from the academic, pastoral and support staff at the university. So I would like to take this opportunity to thank every one of those staff members who have contributed so positively to your academic journey in Bahrain. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank the Ministry of Education and the HEC for all their efforts in supporting the university and our students through this very challenging time. And I would also like to thank the Chairman of the Board of Trustees, His Excellency Sheikh Khalifa bin Daesh Al Khalifa, whose vision and commitment to bring the very best of British degrees to the Kingdom of Bahrain has been admirable, unwavering and a true driving force behind the successful position the British University of Bahrain finds itself in today. So finally, and most importantly, go out there and become unstoppable. We can't wait to see what you're going to do and achieve in your future careers. Good luck and thank you. On this beautiful occasion, it's an honor to call upon stage Her Excellency, Dr. Sheikh Rana bin Isa Al Khalifa, Secretary General of the Higher Education Council, to deliver her message to our graduates. Good evening, Your Excellencies, honored guests, members of the faculty, and of course, our dear students. Ladies and gentlemen, a graduation ceremony is always such a special occasion. The culmination of years of hard work, the actualization of goals attained, and the acknowledgement of success achieved. So, it is only fitting that tonight we commemorate the road of success that we have all traveled together these last few years. A wise man once said, coming together is the beginning, keeping together is progress, and working together 
is success. As we look back over the last few years, certainly there was a beginning, and thankfully there was also progress. And yes, undeniably, we have been successful. But let's begin where all good stories begin, at the beginning. Who, who can forget their first day at the university? Equally nervous and excited to begin a new chapter in our lives, during our commencement week, we made friends and got a taste of what life here would be like. What an orientation week it was, signaling what would be the start of a beautiful journey filled with wonderful things to come. Yes, we all came together with a common purpose in mind to encourage and develop lifelong learning in the young ladies and gentlemen who sit before us here today. Steadfast, resolute, and determined, we all kept together. Day by day, you focused on your goal, keeping together and working together. You faced some incredible and memorable moments, but you bravely chose to use as, steps, as, a, step, as, as a stepping stone as you tediously pursued our common goals. And with all the progress we've made since then, all the triumphs that you achieved and challenges that you overcame, never once did you buckle or surrender to the ever-ending looming prospect of failure. True, there were moments where you may have underperformed or underachieved, and trust me when I can say that I can sympathize with what you have must felt at that time. I'm not going to stand here and tell you failure is fun. But you know this, and never forget it for the rest of your days, it is impossible to live without failing at something unless you live so cautiously as you might as well not have lived at all. In which case, you will always fail by default. Failure is in many ways its own lesson. Whether it can be academia in particular or life in general, failure presents us with an opportunity to pick ourselves up, engage in the self-moment of self-reflection, and then inevitably improve on our mistakes and shortcomings. So, for a moment, allow the fear of failure. Don't let it bog you down as you strive towards achieving your dreams. Though fear is in, in, invariably going to be a player in your lives, only you get to decide how big of a role it's going to play. You can spend your whole life worrying about your pathway to the future, but all that will ever matter is what happens in there and now. It will ultimately come down to the decisions you make in those moments where fear has caused you to, to, in between its ravenous jaws. But we are not here to dwell on instances of past mistakes, regardless of the wisdom and insight they may have to offer. For none of you will be standing here today had you not already overcome your challenges and hurdles during your time here. None of you will be who you are here today without, without those shared experiences. So, ladies and gentlemen, the end result of all that has transpired over your time here at the university, of your coming together, keeping together, and working together. In spite of the obstacles that you may have faced along the way, the end result is the graduating class of 2021. My, how proud the faculty here must be of the success that their students have made with the opportunities that they were offered. Congratulations, we are all proud of you. The journey you may take now, however, will be led by you alone. Don't let that scare you. Oh no, don't that liberate you either. Remember, no one came here the same way that they won't all achieve success the same way. But because you have all shaped your path to graduation in a way that is uniquely and undeniably yours. I am pretty confident that you will continue to do that. You are ready, willing, and more than able to grasp the torch that we bestow upon you. Yours in the future and on the world will become to depend on you. You are ready, you are able to do beautiful things in this world. And after you walk through those doors today, you will only go to achieve greater things for yourselves and for your wider communities. May your years ahead 
continue to be characterized by empathy, compassion, objectivity, and a willingness to take risks. May you always lead by example and work hard and play straight. May your success be many and your tribulations by be few and far between. We wish you everything that you so richly deserve in the years ahead. It has been an honor and a privilege watching you progress and success. Thank you and God bless you all. Thank you, Your Excellency, for this wonderful speech. It has been a wonderful journey, and a new chapter is waiting for you as well. And now we'd like to call upon Professor Julie Cross, Acting President of the British University of Bahrain, to deliver her speech. Good evening. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, and graduates of 2021. As President of the British University of Bahrain, I'm delighted to welcome you all to today's ceremony to celebrate the hard work, dedication, and success of our students. We are here today to congratulate you all. You are our first cohort of graduates to wish you well and tell you how proud we are of you as you embark on the next chapter of your life. You were the students who took a huge leap of faith to join us back in 2018 as we were developing our university. With the vision and determination of His Excellency Sheikh Khalifa bin Daesh and with the valuable support we received from the Ministry of Education, the Higher Education Council, the British Embassy and also the continued support from our UK partner, the University of Salford, we did open our university and you were some of the students that put your trust in us and as a result you will always have a very special place in our hearts and memory of BUB. Today marks the culmination of years of hard work for you and recognising your success is our pleasure, privilege and honour. May I also extend a very warm welcome to your family and friends and supporters. I hope everyone here will take away some very special memories of this important day. Your university journey will have been a pivotal moment in your life. Alongside your specific studies, you will have shaped your views of the world, learned more about yourself and created memories and friends that will stay with you for life. You have developed intellectually, personally and socially. Whether you're now moving on to further studies, new employment, or taking the time to reflect on those opportunities now afforded to you, you can be confident that you're ready to succeed in whatever you choose to do. You have done more than study for a degree. The passion, drive, and determination you have shown on your journey to date are all qualities that will serve you well in the future. We are all proud of you, as you should be proud of yourselves. I also hope that you feel proud of us, your university. Whilst we are here today to celebrate your successes and achievement, the time you have been studying with us has also been a period of many achievements for the university, including the further development of our campus and state-of-the-art facilities, the introduction of several new degree programmes and most importantly the expansion of our BUB community in terms of both faculty and student body. You, our students, have also been doing the university proud over the past few years. In spite of the additional challenges faced due to the COVID pandemic, you have all been very active members of the extracurricular life of the university and among you, we have 15 students who participated in several INJAZ programmes, including Head Start and ICAMP. We have members of our student council, 
student subject representatives and leaders in various clubs and societies, including sports and charities. Your future is bright and many of you have already secured internships and employment at prestigious institutions including Gulf Finance House, Al Shire Group, Doctori Online Services, Information Village and Kuwait Finance House to mention just a few. This is an exciting and inspiring time to be part of this university community and today is about you students from the College of Business and Law who are graduating this year and celebrating with us. But it's also about all of the people you, who have helped you on your journey to receiving your award today. Our staff alongside me have guided you during your university career and have helped you to recognise and reach your potential. Your supporters, families and friends have encouraged you along the way offering emotional, practical and often financial support. I think this support deserves recognition, so graduates, could I please ask you now to stand. Now please, give a round of applause for all those people here and elsewhere who have helped, inspired and encouraged you throughout your journey. Please take a seat. In a moment, you will pass across this stage, and I know some of you will be very nervous about that. But take your time, enjoy it, you have earned it. This part of your BUB journey will end, but a new one begins. From today, you will become alumni, not just of this university, but also of the University of Salford, joining a community of over 175,000 Salford graduates around the world. We urge you to keep in touch with us and let us know how you're getting on. Finally, I invite you to reflect on your abilities and social obligations and gr as graduates and ambassadors of both the British University of Bahrain and the University of Salford. I urge you to work for the benefit of others, to be a catalyst for positive change in whatever community you choose to live and work in. Seize the opportunities that life gives you. Cherish the memories of your time at BUB and use the skills and knowledge you have gained here to be the best you can be. So I shall finish by saying this to each and every graduate. Be proud of what you have achieved. Be bold in your aspirations. The future is now yours to make. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Julie, for the speech. And now I would like to invite our student, Sheikha Lulwa bint Mithab Al Khalifa, a business and management graduate, to deliver her speech on behalf of Class 2021. Your Excellencies, esteemed guests, proud parents, faculty, and fellow graduates, we, the class of 2021, extend our greatest thanks to His Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for enabling a prosperous educational environment for all the students in the Kingdom of Bahrain. It is with great pleasure I stand here today representing the first graduating class of the British University of Bahrain. Today is a celebration of our journey so far. Ambition and bravery, two qualities this class possesses. It is without a doubt that this academic year has been unlike anything we have ever experienced before. We were presented with unique challenges and a few twists and turns, but we pushed strived and adapted, looking ahead to a brighter future. Class of 2021, 
I can say that we shared a unique experience attending our first years in BUB's hallways and classrooms and the student lounge and ending it at home. Regardless of location, the endless support from teachers and administrators carried us through this challenging year. Through this experience is what we as a student body have learned what it truly means to be resilient. We took this as an opportunity to expand our horizons and grow individually and as a group. Class of 2021, look at the crowd. Look at how proud your parents, family, and friends are. Be proud of yourself and your achievements so far, for this is only the beginning. I am hopeful through your dedication and resilience we will all thrive in the working field as we have overcome many hardships to be here today. Today, today marks a bittersweet ending and a hopeful beginning. To the class of 2021, I say good luck and congratulations. Thank you. Today, we feel very privileged and honored to stand here in front of you all and acknowledge the achievements of our brilliant students who have made both the university and their parents very proud. Their journey has been filled with challenges and memories and tonight we would like to share some of their special moments with you. The British University of Bahrain has become my second family and my second home. They've always pushed me and supported me to reach my goals, and here I am now. دراسة تحدي مع كل الصعوبات والتحديات اللي واجهناها. ما كنا بنقدر نفوز بالتحدي اليوم لولا الدعم اللي دائما حصله من كل شخص في الجامعة. The best years of my life ended just the way I pictured it here on the stage. الصراحة شعور ما ينوصى. It was always a dream of mine to pursue an education in the United Kingdom, but it was equally important for me staying close to family and friends. And that is what BUB provided me, bringing a quality UK education to home, right here in Bahrain. BUB is here to shape minds and build characters. My growth during my years at BUB will stay with me forever. I became wiser and I'm very proud of who I am today. كل ما افكر في التخرج اتذكر هالابيات ما الفضل الا لاهل العلم انهم على الهدى لمن استهدى ادلاء وقيمه المرء ما قد كان يحسنه والجاهلون لاهل العلم اعداء ففز بعلم ولا تطلب به بدلا فالناس موتى واهل العلم احياء And now for the most awaited segment of our ceremony, I'd like to call upon on stage His, Excellen His Excellency Dr. Majid bin Ali Al Naimi, Minister of Education, Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Higher Education Council. His Excellency Ambassador Roderick Drummond, British Ambassador to Bahrain. And 
Her Excellency Dr. Sheikha Rana bin Isa Al Khalifa, Secretary General of the Higher Education Council, and Professor Julie Cross, Acting President of the British University of Bahrain, to commence the presentation of the graduation certificate. Ahmed Mohammed Al Hashli. Badr Khalil Al Muhri. Chantal Sandra Boy. Hussein Mohammed Nasser. فاضل العلي نوشين شاهد مشتاق قمر عدنان قمر الشيخ ضوء حمد عيسى آل خليفة زين خالد الشامي <تصفيق> عبد الله احمد مالك عبد الرحمن ماهر الخان علي محمد حماد فهد رياض اليعقوب مريم حميد كريمي
محمد عامر البستكي الشيخ لولو متعب آل خليفة الشيخة مريم متعب آل خليفة صوفيا رضا مالك بيان علي شفيعي فاطمة مهدي إبراهيم محمد عمران خيامي شيخ محمد عبد الله Thank you, Your Excellencies. You may go back and have a seat. <laughs> Congratulations to the class of 2021. We are very proud of you. And ladies and gentlemen, we would like to invite Professor Julie Cross, acting president of the British University of Bahrain, to share with us the ceremony's closing remark. Thank you. Somewhere in there, Ms. Manchester. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you everybody. I think you will agree we've had a lovely ceremony tonight and I hope everybody has enjoyed it and taken away lots of really happy memories and celebrate your success. So on behalf of the British University of Bahrain and the University of Salford, I would like to offer my very sincere congratulations to each and every one of our graduates. So can I now ask you to stand and come to the front of the stage with your hats, please. No, don't put them on yet. Take them off. Come and stand at the front. Come on, let everybody see you. No hats. So now I invite you, as new BUB and university graduates, please put on your hat. Yeah. So please put on your hats, graduates of 2021. Thank you. I'm 
بس اللي خلاها تزيد فرحة أهلكم والوطن يجعلكم تخروا سنة كل ما نبارك كل for joining us thank you all for joining us it's a pleasure this evening and congratulations again ألف ألف مبروك لطلبة الجامعة وأيضا لأولياء الأمور نتمنى لكم ليلة سعيدة نلقاكم إن شاء الله في العام المقبل